So once we have seen the concept of inheritance and then how to use constructor there, let's try to understand how to use abstract classes in, in Kotlin. So what I will do is I will remove this thing which we have done in the last session, the constructor part. And uh, okay, I didn't want to specify the parameter there. Let me remove this as well and this one as well. Okay, I could have done this uh, before the video, but then I, I wanted to show you what changes I have done in the code. So as you can see, we have a very simple code now. We have human and we have alien and everything the same. Now look at look at this world now. So if you talk about this world, we don't have a we don't have specific humans, right? We have either aliens, uh, we have uh, we have doctors. So in different field, in different field, people are called a different way. Example: doctors are god. Uh, lawyers are liars or oh, sorry lawyers are making money right they are they're fighting legal cases and aliens they are programmers right so we are i mean not exactly programmers but then alien is someone who uh, think who think in virtual world it may be database administrator it may be a network engineer it may be a hacker uh, it may be a tester it may be a quality assurance a person is it may be a programmer it can be anything right so we are living in virtual world so what i will do here is let me create some more classes here so i will create one more class oh, what's that Okay, so I will I will go for, I will create one more class here and I will name this class and of course I will make it open now or not or not open and I will call this doctor right so we have we can have different classes let this time we'll go for doctors and doctors are also humans right so initially we all are humans and then we get a degree and then we learn something so we learn some new skills and then we become that person and of course doctor will also think. And doctor will think in a patient way how to treat patients in a medical terms. I don't know what to type here, so I will type anything rubbish here because I don't know what doctor thinks. If I could have done, I've known that I could have been doctor now. So yeah, so I will print uh, some things. I will say uh, critical thinking. It can be anything. I don't know. So I'll say critical thinking. Okay. Yeah. So we got we got this we got this uh, three classes right. Now think about this. If you talk about a person, it may he may be an alien, he may be a doctor, he may be a lawyer, he may be uh, someone, right? Salesman, he may be a, a accountant, he may be a CEO, so it can be anything, right? Uh, in that case, for sure, we never we will never create object of human, and then I I know that everyone will have their own way of thinking, right? No one thinks in real world now. Everyone has an imaginary world. Some people have virtual world. Some people are very critical thinking. Uh, some people think only in, in terms of money, right? Accountants, uh, bank officials, they think only in terms of money. So what I will do is I will I don't want to define this method. So can we declare the methods? Yes, you can. Now I know you know about this concept. Yeah, you, you you must have learned this in, in Java or uh, yeah in Java. So we have a concept of abstract classes. Not as abstract class or abstract methods. So abstract method is something where you don't want to define it. You just want to make it abstract. If you want to declare the method, you can you can make it abstract. And if you know about if you don't know about this concept, I would recommend you to go to my channel and search for Java videos on abstract classes. Just learn that and come you can come back here. Now. The thing is, when you have an abstract method, you have to make sure that your abstract method should be a part of abstract class, right? That's what we do. So we can create abstract class here and we can create abstract methods. Okay, this works in the same way, the way you do in in uh, in, other, in, in Java or C sharp. Uh, I don't know C sharp. Okay, so can we can we define methods? As we know that in abstract classes, we can also define methods. Let's try that. So I will say function and I will say uh, talk and everyone can talk right as a human we can talk and doesn't matter who who you talk to maybe doctors aliens we are we all have the same way of talking right we have the same uh, voice right not not exactly same voice but similar voice right so we all talk in some specific language so I will define this method I will say I will say talking again you can do whatever you want you can implement whatever you want but then let's say talking so I can create a reference of human, uh, we have already done that, and we can call any of this method. So what we can do here is we can say myank.talk, and we can also remove this comment from here, and we can say myank.think. So as you can see, we got myank.talk and think both. So we're just saying talking and virtual thinking. Now why we got talking is because we have a talk method, and why we got thinking because it has a think method as well inside your, the, defi the definition is that in the alien. Now, what if, what if you are not defining this method? So let's say if I comment this part, and if a class fails to define the method which is declared inside an abstract class, which is abstract method, uh, so you can see it is give you it gives you an error. It says class doctor must be declared abstract. So 
if you don't define this then it becomes an abstract class okay so the one way to avoid the error there is by defining this as abstract or the another way would be you have to create object i mean you have to create that method you don't have a choice so you have to write this method otherwise your class becomes an abstract class okay so yeah that's how we can use abstract class in 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 uh, kotlin the same thing is there in java as well and one more thing you are allowing to get inherited right and we are not using open keyword here but then that makes sense right when you say abstract it means that in future i mean the word abstract itself says this is just an abstract concept in future someone will implement it so of course it will be getting inherited some other other time so we don't have to write one more keyword there which is open so abstract are meant to be overrided or abstract classes are meant to be inherited so that's it about that's it from this video we have talked about abstract classes and abstract methods um that's it thank you so much for watching